to the platform Swiss Liver Patients Association Swiss HIPAA. Today with the interview about liver tumor by the patient Ruth. Welcome Ruth. Hello. <laughs> Please explain us what's happened and what showed up that you have a tumor. Well, in the course of another examination, I had to have an MRI and there they um, suddenly the specialist um, discovered a spot in my liver. Did you have any symptoms? Absolutely none, no pain, nothing. I was very surprised when they told me that, um, that there is this spot on this liver. I really, I had no idea. Uh, can you explain what happened next? Yes, um, we decided to have a biopsy done. And the um, results of this biopsy was extremely unclear. We didn't know whether it was a, a cancer, you know, good cancer, bad cancer or anything. It, yeah. Nobody knew. So confusion, pure, pure. Did you see another specialist? Well, actually, the, um, the surgeon, uh, he actually recommended an immediate um, operation. And I said yes. And suddenly, shortly before that, I felt very insecure and decided to have a second opinion done. What further examinations were done next? Then, well, actually I went to the other um, specialist and he looked at the MRI and he decided, well, look, let's wait for a while and let's keep an eye on, on this spot. And that's what we did. We had another MRI done and then a bit later, about four months later, another one. Did you have to take medicines? No, absolutely no medicine. Um, I didn't have any pain at all. I mean, I, I just lived with this spot in my body <laughs> and um, no, no medicine because we didn't know, nobody knew what it was. So, mm. How did you feel in the meantime before surgery? Well, of course, it's a strange feeling suddenly to be told that you have uh, this, this spot, with a spot which may be cancer in your body. It, um, of course, it um, makes it a bit insecure, and um, but also about you start to appreciate life a bit more. Tell us about your surgery. The spot um, sort of grew a bit, quite a bit, you know, in the sort of within the six, six months, and so we decided to have an operation done anyway. And how you felt about this time in the hospital? Well, it I felt very. Um, well, good. Of course, I, I had an operation, and, uh, and after the operation, I felt weak. But of course, but I knew I was um, under um, good care. How was the recovery period? Well, after the um, I spent about nine or ten days at the hospital, and afterwards, I had a um, reconvalescence time, three weeks. I I, w I went away to a. a I don't know what it is in English um, uh, and that was really an important phase for me because that was the time when I could recover from this um, rather big operation. Mm -hmm. So just like holidays? <laughs> yes, just like holidays, yes. <laughs> so it was done for you. <laughs> Do you have to take any medicines now? No. I'm really free of anything, no therapy at all. Um, I can eat what I want, I can drink what I want. And of course I can't um, drink bottles of vodka, I wouldn't like to do that anyway. Um, but um, so the hepatologist and I decided that we um, just keep an eye on it every three years um, and maybe later on every six months um, MRI. Okay. So you need still a checkup? Yes. Yes, I actually had a um, checkup yesterday um, and uh, he said there's absolutely no cancer anymore. By the way, it was bad cancer. I don't think we actually mentioned that. Um, luckily, my liver is healthy apart from this um, cancer, which was um, operated uh, on. I mean, the surgeon took everything away. So it was a clean operation and I'm very happy to, to have got rid of it. Yes. So actually, they didn't find out why you why you have this uh, tumor. No, um, there really nobody um, was able to tell me. Of course, I asked, but I said, "Well, things like that can happen." But it's atypical that um, I had this cancer in a healthy liver. Normally, the liver is already pretty damaged when you get a liver cancer. 
So actually, you are or you were very uh, lucky. <laughs> very lucky indeed. Yeah. How are you feeling now? I'm feeling very well. I'm actually I'm going back to the gym. My muscles are coming back. Um, I put on weight um, again because I lost um, a few kilos. So I'm really feeling in, um, well, my normal self, yes. Has the diagnosis or operation changed anything in your life? I guess it made, it made me a bit more humble about life. Okay, so you have all, an almost normal life again. Absolutely, yes. What would you recommend or advise or deliver to more patients? Well, actually to anybody, just enjoy life, appreciate every day. Um, maybe, I don't know, I, I wouldn't recommend it them if I haven't had the, the um, cancer, but maybe have an MRI done. Although, I don't know, and maybe a cancer can grow quickly and whether that's a really good recommendation, I really don't know. So actually a checkup? Yeah, yeah. Once a year yeah. through the whole body, then I think that's yeah. very important too. Absolutely. So thank you very much, dear Ruth, for your understandable and helpful interview, which provides an additional important insight for ordered patients. And all the best and best possible health for you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Karina. Mm -hmm.